Hi, this is Di. Uh, we're Diana and Jerry. We are at Jerry and I were full time. Jerry worked for a large airplane manufacturer and I worked for a community mental health service provider and during the popular sickness we both left our jobs and now when we can we take our trailer out and go camping. Entiat City Park. The city park has a campground and I have driven by this so many times and I wanted to come and see it. It's right off of Highway 27A, like really close to the highway, but it just looked like the perfect place. When we got a travel trailer, I was like, I want to stay there. That is the kind of place I, I don't know, it's just what I imagine people with travel trailers where they stay. Jerry and I live near Seattle, Washington and the campground is in the town of Entiat, which is in the center of Washington State. We had quite the adventure getting here. We got in the car and immediately lost air conditioning, which is sort of an issue because it was 98 degrees yesterday. So I got really hot. I, my makeup was in the, the car, the Suburban, and I thought it was starting to melt. So I asked Jerry if we could put it in the refrigerator in the trailer. And when we opened the trailer door, the fridge door had not latched and it had dumped all of our groceries on the floor and the fridge got warm and everything like that so thank goodness i wanted to keep my uh, makeup from melting because it saved our groceries so we shut the fridge back up and, and connected it back to uh, the propane so it could start getting cold but when the groceries fell out a can of adult cider broke and it sprayed liquid all over jerry's clothes that were packed it also soaked his his pillow so we had to make a pit stop to buy another pillow and uh, Jerry has had to spray down his clothes with a hose but so far all that's good however it is still super hot here so you want to really watch the calendar if you decide to come to this park in July and August it gets into the 80s 90s it feels like Phoenix but I wanted to tell you everything about the park that you might need to know it's a mid-priced park it costs more than camping in the state um, campground, but less than camping at like a KOA or fancy campground. There are 25 tent sites, and then there are another 28 RV sites with full hookups and a site with a camp host. You can go on the website at Reserve America to rent a campsite. When I used my computer, I didn't see that there's a veteran's discount, but then there was when I got on my phone. So just look around to see if there's any discounts available that you could have used because I didn't use mine. When we got here, I did check in with the camp host, which turned out to be advantageous. He gave us a, a mirror hanger for our spot and the password for the Wi-Fi. It's a little bit tricky how the Wi-Fi works here. So you'll want to check with him, make sure you know how to log in. However, it is excellent Wi-Fi. There is a cell tower right there and the box right here and it is faster than my Wi-Fi at home. There are lots of activities here and so there is a dock. You can walk out onto the dock or if you have a boat, obviously you could use the dock. There's a swimming area. There's a covered area that you can also reserve on the Reserve America site. Nice. Antiat is along the Columbia River with mountains on both sides. Now, there is a whole bunch of bushes and stuff between you and the water, and it turned out that the the, 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 it was washing out, it was degrading, and so they had to plant a bunch of bushes and put a lot of things in place so that they wouldn't wash out. Uh, Entiat is right behind the Rocky Ridge Dam. If you come here, we were woke up at 7.30 this morning by a young child that was screaming, so just know that you are around people. The city park and they use access are on both ends of the park, and so sometimes I did see a person who does not have a home that was going between the two ends of the park. There is a walkway. 
that goes along the whole length of the park. It's just beautiful to walk down, so it's really a cool thing to have. There is no alcohol allowed in the park, so don't drink adult beverages. Oh, and I should show you some of the sites. This is what an RV site looks like. All the sites, the tent sites and the RV sites, have a picnic table, they have a fire pit, and they have a pad for setting up your tent. The sprinklers go off here between 9 and midnight, and so you want to make sure that you're camping on one of the sand pits if you're in a tent. And so like at night when we went to bed, we made sure we pulled all our chairs and stuff up off the grass. There's a museum on one end, but when we got there, it looked like it had been locked up for a while. So I don't know if there's anybody really running the museum. Oh, showers. Once you pay to camp here, you have free use of the showers. Uh, no coins, no tokens. Just go take your shower and take it as long as you want. Jerry did say that bathroom was really, really hot. I have full hookups. Um, all the RV sites have full hookups. So I've been using that bathroom. This has to be one of the prettiest sites we've ever stayed at. You got a hit? Holy cow, that was quick. So those sites back there, they're right on the edge of the road. I mean, if you were just trying to get your boat, maybe, but I wouldn't pick one of those being right on the road. So it's been really, really hot. It looks like Jerry has a sunburn. I had some heat exhaustion. Um, it was 91 today. So 91 is pretty warm for people that are from Puget Sound area. How's the fishing? Here is a good example of a tent spot. There's a big tent pad, a picnic table, and a fire pit. Let's look at the fire pit. That'll work. It's even got a little bit of wood in it. There's a tiny bit of road noise, but I'd say these birds are louder. There's my husband looking like a postcard. A lot of work here to prevent further erosion. You see the moon right there? It's huge. Okay. 
Drone. First fish anti at, what is it? Oh, it's a squawfish. I was expecting to get my bites more towards the shore. And instead, I'm getting them out in deep water. Maybe the fish like it out there where it's colder. Well, the water's really pretty cold, so it's colder than I expected. So it's not getting the fish aren't up close to the shore. Jerry says they were all out at the sandbar today. Jerry went fishing down there. I wasn't sure if he was ever coming back. But there he is, right there. How was the fishing? My lure got snagged and my line broke, and then I called it. And that was that, huh? That was that. I didn't want to rig up. Anyway, there was another gentleman down there fishing. Oh, there was? Okay, so did you see the teenagers come out of the... I did. This was their car. And, well, maybe their parents' car, right? So the oldest boy, I think, had braces and long hair and was all dressed in black? They were all wearing black, and one had like, a, like some sort of cartoon animal hat. Oh, okay. Well, maybe. Yeah. And so the tallest one, whatever, that mm -hmm. was driving, he comes over and he goes, what are you doing? Are you just looking at the water? I was like, yep. <laughs> and I was like, the weather's a lot better than it was. And he's like, oh no, I like it colder than this. So then they're outside the car for the longest time, but I'm trying not to bother. I'm not looking at them. Yeah. Kind of circling the car. And then I hear something about, oh, I'm sorry. And I'm just thinking, oh my gosh, please don't have them lost their keys. They've got to have their keys. No, pump, pump, they get in the car and then they sit there and they sit there and finally I just sort of try to peek out of my corner of my eye like I wonder what's going on back there and then he gets in the car he starts it he pulls it up right behind me he goes hey and I sort of turned around and he's like hey I'm sorry we just sort of sat there talking for a minute in the car and that must have been really awkward for you and I was like he goes you must have thought we were really weird and I was like no thought you were nice <laughs> goes okay and he took off <laughs> the guy doesn't understand that i'm with teenagers like yeah well i was sitting right dozens of teenagers once a week waiting for you to yell <laughs> like if they were yell. bothering and i thought they don't seem like they were they were so causing, harmless causing trouble but mm -hmm. country kids with nothing to do yeah what are they gonna do go hang out at the mall but uh, what is that the car that they're in back yeah. there? Oh. Yeah, I mean they're driving mom's car probably, oh, right? Because I was wondering where this guy over here was. Oh, that wasn't his car. <laughs> no, I thought it was his car. I thought those kids left and then I realized, oh, they didn't leave. The kids left. Hanging. They drove away. No, there, there's a car behind you still. <laughs> oh, they just backed up? <laughs> That's what I was saying. <laughs> I thought they well, finally left. He just moved and gave me more space. So that guy must be one. He must be camping or something. Oh my gosh, I didn't know they were behind us. <laughs> yeah. ambition was to help beautify Antioch in 1964. He said the drinking fountains from 1964. I'm not in your view.
viewy says. That's not in your view at all. Ah. Not mountain pants. <laughs> uh, let me know if you have any more questions about camping at Entiat City Park Campground. You can put them down below and I'll be sure to get back to you and let you know. Here is another campground that we visited and here's a video that YouTube picked out just for you.